A person's heart, lung, and circulatory health can be improved by combining cardiovascular exercise and strength training. Exercises that target multiple muscle groups are especially beneficial. These include various exercises that require little to no equipment and can suit a range of fitness levels. Welcome to Health is Wealth, and in this video, we will take a look at the top 13 exercises for overall good health. Number 13. Overhead Shoulder Press This exercise works to strengthen the shoulders. Two dumbbells will be required. Place your feet hip-width apart. Hold a dumbbell in each hand, inside wrists facing forward, and bend the arms to bring the weights to shoulder height. Engage the abdominal muscles and exhale while straightening the arms to lift the dumbbells above the shoulders in a straight line. Inhale to bend the elbows and gradually lower the dumbbells to shoulder height. Avoid arching your lower back. Number 12. Dumbbell Rows Dumbbell rows can help to strengthen the back and build muscle. Muscle strength increases the body's ability to burn calories while resting. This exercise will require two dumbbells. Stand with your knees slightly bent and your hips tilted forward, keeping your back straight. Hold the dumbbells in front of you with your arms straight and the insides of your wrists facing each other. Return one hand to the starting position after pulling it toward the ribcage. Repeat with the other arm. Continue alternating sides for 8 to 10 repetitions per set. Repeat for 3 sets with a 45 second rest in between. Number 11. Weight lifting. Weight lifting may be slower paced, but it is also a good way to raise your heart rate and strengthen your heart. Lifting weights can reduce your chances of having a stroke or heart attack by 40 to 70 percent according to one study. Depending on your goals, it may be beneficial to work with a personal trainer who can teach you proper techniques and design a personalized workout plan for you. Number 10. Push-ups Push-ups strengthen the arms, chest, and shoulders by engaging multiple muscle groups. Begin in a plank position, arms straight, and body lifted in a straight line horizontal to the floor. To support the body, keep the feet together and the toes flexed. The palms should be shoulder width apart on the floor, with the fingers facing straight ahead or slightly inward. Maintaining a straight spine, slowly bend the elbows outward and lower the body to the floor. Keep your hips and lower back in line. Lower yourself as far as you can, aiming to touch your chest or chin to the floor. Press the body back up into the starting position using the arm muscles. Maintain abdominal muscle engagement throughout to support the back. Number 9. Body Weight Squats Body weight squats can strengthen the lower body and core by working the abs, buttocks, hips, thighs, calves, and shins. Stand with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart, toes pointing outward. Keep your hands by your sides, palms facing in, and your shoulders back. To support the back, contract the abdominal muscles. Maintain a flat back by shifting the hips back and bending the knees as if taking a seat. Continue lowering yourself to the ground until your thighs are parallel to the floor. To return to the starting position, push through the feet. Inhale as you squat, then exhale as you stand back up. Number 8. Lunges Lunges engage the thighs, buttocks, hips, and abdominals. Stand tall with your feet together. Step forward with one leg, bending the knee and placing the foot flat on the floor. Bend the supporting leg's knee toward the floor. To return to standing, use the muscles on the forward leg. Repeat with the other leg. Number 7. Running Running is an aerobic exercise that can help with cardiovascular fitness and bone strength. Jogging is a less strenuous form of running that may be suitable for beginners. Interval running, which involves running for a set distance or time and then walking before running again, is a popular way for people to improve their running endurance. People can also alternate between running and sprinting. Sprint interval training may aid in the reduction of body fat, the increase of aerobic capacity, and the increase of peak running speed. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy your future videos while getting updated. Now coming back to the topic. Number 6. Planks Planks help to build core strength by strengthening the back and abdominal muscles. Begin with the elbows on the floor and lower the arms, keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders. Lift the body in a straight line horizontal to the floor. To support the body, keep the feet together and the toes flexed. Hold the position for 20 to 30 seconds. Lower slowly to the floor and rest for one minute before repeating three to five times. When people are comfortable with this exercise, they can progress to a high plank. 
The same body positioning is used in this move, but the person keeps their arms straight with their palms flat on the floor, directly underneath the shoulders. Number 5. Knee Tucks Knee tucks engage the abs, calves, and shins. For this exercise, people will need an exercise ball, also known as a stability ball. Lie on your stomach, hands and feet on the floor, on top of the stability ball. Walk forward on your hands until your knees are resting on the ball and your feet are off the ground. The hands should be directly underneath the shoulders. Curl the knees into the chest by rolling them forward. Return to the starting position by slowly pushing the knees back. Number 4. Glute Bridge The glute bridge is beneficial to the posterior chain of muscles in your body. Lie on your back, knees bent, and feet flat on the floor. Lift the hips off the floor, bringing them in line with the shoulders and the knees. By contracting the buttocks and abdominals, avoid arching your back. Slowly lower back to the starting position, standing dumbbell presses overhead. Number 3. Pike Rollout A pike rollout works the abdominal, arm, and shoulder muscles. A stability ball will be required. Lie on the ball in your stomach, hands and feet on the floor. Roll forward on the ball with your toes flexed. Maintain a straight body with straight arms directly beneath the shoulders and palms flat on the floor. Lift the buttocks toward the ceiling while keeping the legs straight and the toes flexed on the ball. With a straight back and head between the arms, the hips should be in line with the shoulders. Return to the starting position slowly. Number 2. Crow Stand the crow stand is a yoga pose that can help build wrist, arm, and core strength as well as improve balance. Crouch down on the floor and place your palms flat on the mat, fingers spread and arms slightly bent. Place both feet behind the hands and bend the knees into the triceps, close to the armpits. Lower inner thighs should be positioned just above the elbows. Balance on your toes and shift your weight into your hands. Begin by removing one foot from the floor at a time. Lift both feet off the floor, touch the big toes together, and balance on your hands when you are able. Return the feet to the floor slowly. Number 1. Swimming Swimming works almost all muscle groups while remaining a low-impact exercise. As a result, it may be appropriate for people who have certain injuries or health conditions. If you are a beginner, you should swim in a public pool or a safe, supervised environment. As their fitness improves, people can take a few steps to make these exercises more difficult. These steps include increasing the weight, the number of repetitions, sets, or both, and the frequency of workouts. Individuals can also work with a personal trainer or fitness instructor. These professionals can safely increase difficulty levels while also assisting people in maintaining proper technique. Exercise is essential for overall health and fitness. A combination of resistance and cardiovascular training is an effective tool for preventing a variety of health problems. People can begin slowly and gradually increase the frequency or number of repetitions. And with that being said, it is time to end our video. Before that, we would like to know which of these exercises do you include in your routine? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this one. We will see you in the next video.